Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 24th of 2021. Well, it is titled lightning eclipse from the planet of the goats. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, we see what is known as the planet of the goats, uh, part of a Greek island. And why is it called that? Well, it's actually the very rough terrain uh, that is present there and some strange looking rocks. So maybe the rough terrain as though only a goat would be able to climb through some of the very rough terrain that is seen here. Now off in the distance we see a couple of things. First of all we see part of a lightning storm and you can see a number of great lightning bolts striking down towards the sea there. And up in the sky you can see a few stars and a big red blob there. The big red blob is actually the moon. So this is during a total lunar eclipse from June of 2011. So we are looking back nearly 10 years ago and we see a great lunar eclipse and you can see that the moon appears that blood red color when it is passing into the shadow of the Earth. So when the moon is completely within Earth's shadow, you would think it would be invisible because it is being shadowed from the sun and no light would be reaching it. However, because Earth has an atmosphere, some light actually makes it into Earth's shadow. So our shadow is not completely dark. And the light that scatters through there the best are the longer wavelengths. And that means the very deep red colors. So when we see a lunar eclipse, we can sometimes call that a blood moon because the moon turns a very deep red color in the sky. Now we see this today because we're coming up in just a couple of days on the next total lunar eclipse, which will be visible on Wednesday. So just a couple days from now. And if you happen to be located in the right area, uh, you will be able to see that eclipse. Now for this eclipse, there's only a couple of regions in the world where you can actually see the entire eclipse from beginning to end. And those would include Antarctica, and as well as part of Australia and all of New Zealand area. So some of the islands of the South Pacific are able to see this. And of course, the part of the US would be Hawaii in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. But most of the total total area will be right over the Pacific Ocean, so not over a highly inhabited regions, I say, except for things like Australia and New Zealand, who will get a chance to see this entire eclipse. Parts of it will be visible from much of North America and parts of Eastern Asia. So there are other areas that will be able to see at least part of this eclipse as well. And an eclipse like a lunar eclipse will be visible from any part of the world that happens to be uh, at nighttime where the moon would be up during the time of the eclipse. So uh, the lunar eclipse occurs only at full moon. And the full moon is always opposite to the sun in the sky. So when the sun is down below the horizon, the eclipsed moon would be up above the horizon and visible. So that limits the areas as to where it can be seen. If the eclipse occurs during daytime, then of course the sun would be up and the moon would not be visible. So you would be unable to see uh, the eclipse. So there are a chance again for most uh, most of a lot of North and South America, you will be able to see part of this and a lot of Eastern Asia will be able to see it as well. Uh, but the best prime viewing will be in Australia, New Zealand and the middle of the Pacific Ocean. So that was our picture of the day for May the 24th of 2021. It was titled Lightning Eclipse from the Planet of the Goats. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Disappearing Moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.